There are many ways to design patterns in Photoshop and I bet you don't know all six I'm going to show you. We will go from old school tricks like Offset to clever automations like Adobe Capture. For each one I will show you what it can do, what it's great at and where it falls short. We will look at how fast it is, how much skill you need, how much control you get and how many patterning options it gives you. By the end you will know exactly which method to pick and when. Oh, and stick around, I will also show you an amazing alternative which you can try for free. It is quick, powerful and a whole lot more fun. I promise you it will blow your mind. Let's go! The first method is a classic which you may have seen in other tutorials. It is made for block repeats, patterns that repeat the same square in each direction. Basically, you draw or place your design, offset the image 50% in both directions, then fill in the remainder. When you define the design of a pattern and then use it as a pattern fill, you'll see it perfectly seamless. The benefits? It works every time. The cons? Once you offset, there is no going back. You can't move stuff on the edges anymore. Learning how to make strong compositions will take skill and time. The offset step makes it a little harder to control and it only gives you block repeats. That's it. 2. Pattern View The Pattern View feature has been around for a long time, but not everyone knows about it. It is a huge step up from the offset method. Instead of offsetting, create a new file, go straight to View, Pattern Preview. Now, whatever you draw or place, you'll see it repeat instantly. Photoshop even wraps it around the edges for you. That means no more manual offsetting. You can move things around freely and you will see the result live. It is faster, more flexible and easier to control. Now those are the pluses, but you will still need a good eye to make nice compositions. And it is only for block repeats, which can get a bit repetitive. 3. Symmetric Drawing Now for something completely different. This one is perfect for mandalas or abstract art. Make a new file and select the brush tool. Did you ever notice that little butterfly icon on the top bar? Click it and select one of the options. For example, the mandala. Your strokes get mirrored and repeated across the canvas automatically. You can even make a pattern that can be repeated like a seamless tile. Let me show you how. First I draw something. Then if I turn on the pattern preview, you can see the seamless pattern in all of its glory. Unfortunately, you can't see both symmetry drawing and pattern preview at the same time. Turning one option on will turn the other option off. That's a big miss Adobe. So let's recap this method. You have to draw everything by hand, which takes a lot of practice. And it's obviously not as fast as placing objects. To get good results, you'll want to use a pen tablet. You do have a lot of creative control, but it will take a lot of trial and error along the way. It is fun and powerful if you've got the time and skills. 4. Copy and reflect. Do you like the symmetry look but you don't want to draw? Try this. Instead of a new file, open an image. Select the whole image or just a section you find interesting. Now create a new file. Because you just did a copy, the dimensions will match the size of the copied content. But we want to double it. The easiest way is to just type times 2 next to the numbers, so they automatically double. In this new file, paste your selection. Now paste again and via edit, and then transform path, and then flip the options. Create three copies that can seamlessly fit together. Turn on pattern preview and voila, a seamless tile. Now let's be honest, this method is slow and really gets in the way of my creative flow. On the plus side, it is easy to do and your export will be perfectly repeatable tiles. That said, it is just one type of pattern and because iterating is slow, it's more trial and error than control. 5. Symmetric Pattern Fill If you are excited about this reflecting and repeating, but can't be bothered with all the steps, here is another option. It is a pretty obscure feature, even though it is quite powerful. Start with some image or drawing you have made, then save it as a pattern. I can hear you think, but this is not a pattern. I know it's weird, but just wait, it will work. Next, create a new blank file and then go to edit and then fill. Here, select the image we just turned into a so-called pattern and set the script to symmetry fill. Hit OK. In the next step, you can create all kinds of patterns from your, uh, pattern. Simple ones like this. 
with a bit of tweaking on the sliders. You can even create the same kind of tiling we made on the copy and reflect method. But there are also some wild options like this one and controls for randomly changing the elements a bit. When you're happy with the results, hit OK and it will be placed in your image. Now I really want to like this feature. It is fast and has tons of options to play with. But in the end I find it hard to control, making it more frustrating than fun. It is hard to know what the sliders will do and the preview only has updates when you drop the slider. So I am missing the direct feedback that would make this feature usable. What's more, the result is a fill, so even if the output could have been a repeatable tile, that's not what you get. I use this feature as a bit of a toy, but not for real design work. By the way, if you are enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up so other people will find it too. 6. Capture a Pattern The last method I would like to show you is a more user-friendly version compared to the previous one, even though it's a little bit more limited. Adobe Capture is a mobile app, but parts of it live inside Photoshop and you can use it to generate patterns. It is pretty hidden, so I wouldn't be surprised if you've never heard of it. Let me tell you where to find it. Open the library window. Find the window, then click on patterns. Click on the plus icon, then on extract from image. Now pick an image from your computer and you'll see it turned into a pattern. Use the controls to change the tiling or the selection. It is really fast and fun. While it has a better user interface than the previous method, I do have some pet peeves with it. For now, I miss the ability to move or zoom the preview, so I can inspect my pattern up close. Also, I haven't yet found an easy way to export my patterns as a single repeatable tile, which would be so handy. Lastly, it only comes with 5 tiling options. Still, probably one of my most favorite ways to make patterns in Photoshop. Before I show you my ultimate pattern making method, let's quickly recap these options. Offset, skip it. Pattern view is better in every way. Symmetry draw, great for mandalas and expressive design, if you are into drawing. Copy and reflect, precise and tile perfect, but slow and limited. Symmetry fill, fast and fun, but unpredictable and hard to control. Adobe Capture, friendly user interface, but too limited for serious design. Which brings me to my secret weapon, Wrapper. Photoshop can do a lot, but it is not just built for patterns. Rapper is. That is all it does and it does it brilliantly. And the best thing, it is free to try, no strings attached. Let me show you how it works. Instead of starting with a blank canvas, you import an image and Rapper instantly turns it into a pattern. It is incredibly fast, super visual and kind of addictive. If you've ever felt that making patterns is too technical in Photoshop, this will feel like a breath of fresh air. With Rapper you don't need to choose between speed, fun, control and options, you will get all four. I won't bother you with all the possibilities, but here are my four favorites. More than 40 tilings with live previews. 3D previews of your patterns on products. Crazy effects like metamorphosis. And if you already work in Photoshop, Rapper is a great way to turn your artwork into fresh, unexpected patterns. Drop in your own work and find hidden shapes, rhythms and designs you didn't plan, but will love. It is a great way to reuse your materials and unlock new ideas without starting from scratch. I could tell you so much more, but I will let you discover the possibilities yourself. Instead, let me show you a few cool designs I made with Rapper. Okay, full disclosure, I work with Rapper, so yes, I am biased. But honestly, if you are serious about patterns, this tool will change the game for you. If you just want basic block patterns, stick with Photoshop. But if you want speed, control, fun and freedom, Rapper is hard to beat. Give it a go today at www.rapper.app. You can use it totally free for the first 14 days. And if you like what you see, use the discount code in the description down below to save 25% on the pro version. That is all for today my dear friends, happy patterning and I see you next time.